Hello everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an overview of this new SSD from Plexstore. This is the M6E. Now this is a unique SSD because it is an M.2 SSD. It also contains a PCI Express adapter or riser card, so you can use it with a current existing system, and I'm going to show you how to install it as well in an M.2 slot. You get a five-year warranty from Plex Store for this uh, SSD. This is a 256 gigabyte version that we're looking at right now. It's also available in 128 and 512 gigabyte capacities. Around on the back of the box, we have some more detailed specs listed, so up here you can see a few of them. I did want to point out, point out that this is AHCI compliant, so you don't need driver installation if you're using a native AHCI environment. Also supports legacy BIOSes, so older BIOSes as well as newer UEFI BIOSes, and it will support, uh, it does have boot support, so you can boot directly off of this SSD. Over on the right side, we have some more detailed specifications. Uh, it uses a PCI Express Gen 2 x 2 interface that gives you uh, not quite double, but uh, almost double the bandwidth of uh, Serial ATA Revision 3 that's currently available right now for most SSDs. And I'm not going to be doing benchmarks on this drive today, but I did want to point out some of the speeds that you will find from Plex Store. So uh, depending on the capacity of the drive that you're using, uh, for all of them you're going to be able to get sequential read speeds up to 770 megabytes per second. For sequential write speeds you'll be able to hit 335 megabytes per second with the 128, 580 with the 256, or up to 625 if you go with the 512 gigabyte capacity. Also input output operations per second there are, are all going past 1,000, or I'm sorry 100,000 uh, except for the 128 which is still going to hit 96,000 and 83,000 respectively for uh, random reads and random writes. Now the reason that Plexstore has gone with a different interface for this drive is that is M.2. It used to be called NGFF, that's next generation form factor, but they've settled on M.2 which I think is a little bit more appropriate. Um, but before I uh, continue with that, let's quickly show the contents of the box. This is going to show you a basic installation here, how to drop it into your system. You also get a VIP card, which uh, I assume means that you're very important, yes. Uh, it's also got some inf more information about the drive, such as the MTBF, as well as contact hours for Plex Store if you need support. But uh, M.2 is going to be able to provide a lot more bandwidth than Serial ATA. Right now we're at Serial ATA Revision 3. That gives you about 6 gigabits per second, and uh, as mentioned, uh, with the PCI Express by 2 interface on this, you actually get uh, theoretically 10 gigab gigabits per second uh, as far as throughput goes. Now, there's going to be additional revisions of that as well coming out in the future, um, but basically more bandwidth uh, is going to allow these uh, SSDs, which have gotten faster and faster, to actually keep up with and uh, take advantage of the speeds, which have been bottlenecked by the current generation Serial ATA Revision 3. I'm going to talk a little bit about the riser card first of all, since that is somewhat separate from the uh, M.2 SSD itself. But as you can see, pretty basic PCI Express riser card. You'll note that there are two nut locations right here that will support 2260 and 2280. That's 60 millimeter and 80 millimeter length M.2 SSDs. At the top here, you have your PCI Express interface. It is uh, physically by four although the uh, SSD that's currently installed right here is uh, by two. Now, also here at the back, you have some notification lights. So you've got the red light that will indicate if there is an error. You have a green light for PCI Express by two travel, and you have a yellow light that will simply indicate drive activity. And if I flip it around this way, you also notice it says Plex Store. Uh, apart from that, they've also given you a screw right there, so you can uh, secure that to your case if you don't already have one in your case. And then that pretty much wraps it up for at least the riser card itself. Now the, for the SSD. To get a closer look at that, I'm going to go ahead and void the warranty by removing this sticker and removing the SSD from its uh, SSD mount. So with the sticker removed, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the screw right here, which is holding the SSD in place, and then we can lift it out, which isn't very difficult. Just pull from the side, and there you can see the actual interface and where it plugs into the riser card. Now, um, there are not a whole lot of motherboards that support this interface right now. However, there are quite a few uh, Ultrabooks or uh, Ultralight Ultrabooks that will support SSDs of this nature. And we're starting to see some uh, motherboards come uh, be released. Uh, there's some Z97 motherboards, for instance, that will use this form factor. So the benefit if you're purchasing this right now and you don't have M.2 available on whatever system you're using is that you can use that riser card and install it. But then if you do an upgrade in the future, you can pop this out and then use it natively somewhere. I'm going to set this aside now that we're pretty much done with that and uh, talk a little bit about the SSD itself as far as the specs go. Um, I'm not going to peel this sticker up right there. Oh, but... 
hey, it's on the other side. Uh, but there's your controller. Uh, you can see the Marvell logo, the M, which is upside down. Here you go. This is the Marvell logo, logo, and that's for the Marvell SS9183 controller. You can see some of the NAND packages right there. You get a total of eight uh, Toshiba 19, uh, 19 nanometer toggle mode NAND flash memory modules, and that will add up to, at least in this particular one, your total storage capacity of 256 gigabytes. That's unformatted, of course. And then also under the sticker right here, you have some Hynix DDR3 uh, DRAM that's going to act as a cache. Now, uh, as previously mentioned, this, is, uh, this SSD is still going to be compatible with all of the things that you want SSDs to be compatible with, such as uh, native command queuing and trim support trim, specifically for garbage collection. Uh, you also have Plex Store's Plex Tool software that you can download, and that will uh, be able to do things like updating the firmware on the SSD, doing secure erase functions, as well as running diagnostic scans. I'm going to do a quick motherboard installation for you guys. This is the ASRock Z97X killer motherboard, which comes with a native M.2 slot. So that's part of the chipset, too, which is pretty nice. Now, this particular motherboard has uh, support for different lengths of uh, M.2 SSD. So you have 30 millimeter, 42 millimeter, uh, 60 millimeter, 80 millimeter, and 110. So these will be labeled like 2280, 2260, 2230, uh, for example. Now, the SSD itself is fairly easy to install. Uh, you just pretty much pop it in like so, push it to the side, and it will drop into the slot, and then we're going to go ahead and secure it with the screw. Uh, I do want to mention, however, that uh, you do have a couple different ways of having this slot wired up, and it can be wired for a serial ATA. Since this particular M6E SSD is uh, specifically PCI Express, definitely make sure that if you're dropping it into a uh, desktop with a motherboard like this one, or if you're dropping it into a laptop that has an M.2 slot, that it is wired properly. So it needs to be wired for PCI Express. And uh, here we have at least by two uh, Gen 2 support. So uh, also make sure you have that so that you have enough bandwidth to take advantage of the SSD speed. Now, in case you guys are wondering, this SSD is also available without the riser card, just the M6E SSD all by itself. So keep your eye out for that if you're interested in just dropping it straight into an M.2 slot on a motherboard like the one I just showed you. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. This has been the M6E 256GB SSD from Plextor. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button on your way out, and we'll see you next time.